Hey everybody, welcome back to God of War. Uh, we need to talk to Brock and Sindri. We are looking to finally fulfill this wish. It says that uh, Freya brought back Thamir and the Stonemason to stop us, but Yormungir helped us beat them. We beat Baldur together and would have let him go, but he tried to kill Freya, and I guess she was alright with that, but we weren't. So now he's dead and she's really angry and I don't know how to feel about any of it. But now we're finally going to Jotunheim. Potentially. My brother and me got a new project. Now that we're on speaking terms. Oh, yeah? What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brock and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven what? armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to Oh, hand. is that right? Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend. <laughs> and the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. Do you expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsognir the Dwarf King found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in gotcha. Conan's guard. And looky here, a Conan's guard entry stone. Isn't that convenient, Brock? It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. <laughs> oh, man. Do we want to do this? I'm so intrigued by, like, what's going on, but... Um, where is this? Dwarven armor set recipe. Put the whetstone and hammer we found to good use to craft the dwarven armor of legend. Onan's guard stronghold. Which is back here? Yes. Um. The stronghold's northwest of here, behind the Svartalfheim realm tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. Let's do it. The Huldra Brothers back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. I get to see such a day we was back to build. Okay. Go back here. And hopefully find a path. There's a duel. Because I imagine that our fights are not over, so if we have an opportunity to get something like way stronger armor-wise, I'd be open to it. Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? Kind of sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree? Unless perhaps he refers to something yet to be. This future that everyone seems it is to know about. That when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok. Their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. Jeez. That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. <laughs> it's a bit of a uh, paradox. So, the World Serpent's already fought Thor in Ragnarok. It was knocked back in time till now. That or Mimir's insane. The time stuff is confusing. Very confusing. All right. Can we go through here? Like, is this... No, we want to get in the boat. I'm glad Brock and Sinji were able to work out the differences. Now they are twice as irritating. Oh. <laughs> I think course. it's nice to see them trust each other again. Oh, we already got this do thing. Let's head into the deep, dark caves and see what we find. The mirror. Why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. We knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. 
Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find, none could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. And we're going to be the first. That's cool. One thing about these, like, this ancient mythology is that there's seemingly so few players. And by players, I just mean, like, uh, different gods involved. And they've been through all this crazy stuff, and their relationships are super complex. Even though the count of them is relatively few. You hear that? Down we go, boy. You hear the hammering? So I'm not crazy. Boy, over here. Yes, Tell me sir. the tales. It says, Glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. That was nice. After many winters, a stronghold of Conan's guard is complete. Matsignar has invited all citizens to attend the grand ceremony in the throne room. There we wait the calming words of our king, who promises everlasting, everlasting safety and prosperity. This new land is even more fertile than Vithyrgard. And with Regin as our stalwart sentry, we fear not from the Reavers, Dark Elves, nor any malevolent force. The reign of King Matsignar is truly blessed by Tyr himself. All hail the Dwarf King, protector of man. Looks like they actually like this Dwarf King. People in Vithyrgard sure didn't. I wonder what changed. There's our man. Heard the banging from miles away. And welcome to Conan's guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. <laughs> There's all manner okay. of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. I mean, I oh, think we're well. as well prepared as we can be, to be honest. Nothing to your liking. No, everything's great. Whoa. Look. Whoa. It's cool. another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. Wait, where do you see a dragon? I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. Yeah, this is going to be a lot more complex than what we thought. Focus up. I felt that one, brother. Why not? Hello. Oh, you see the- Whoa! Got him. They were fully raged and fully healed. Oh, I saw the bird from over there. Let's take that down. Look at that. Alright, plug your nose, boy.
That'll do. I don't know how he destroyed him so quick there. Thought we were going to pull him in, he just disappeared. What the? <laughs> if the Dwarf King captured more than one dragon, he must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Scales, even excrement. Yum. Dragon shit is powerful? I like. Totally powerful. More powerful than normal shit, probably. That is having fun with you. I need it. What are we looking at? Oh, there he is. Let's put this thing back together. We won't use it, but... We need to come back. I know we don't need to activate those either, but... Going in. Be careful. Hmm? That's an impressive front door. Holy frick. These materials must be pretty special to make the legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. <laughs> but if Brock and Sindri make it together... He's I'm collected sure one of three. Effort. Don't you trust them at least? I mean, I, I think so. Andreas. I do not trust the legend. Oh. Go check out that dragon, likely. Oh boy. I see him clear as day now. Okay, so this is unlocked from the other side. Double back. Whoa, whoa. I need him to get rid of these guys up top. Frick. We're in a bad spot here. Almost. Committed. Got him. Everything you got, boy.
Okay, let's head on through here. Can we climb this? No. No, we cannot. There were three dragons total, right? So... I wonder if we're gonna get led to the other one. Yeah, get ready. There are a few ways to find out, but they're rather messy. What do we got going on here? I guess it doesn't matter. Damn it. That's going to be a problem. Hammering, buddy. So strong. On him, boy. No! Let's go. That's probably worth. Nice. <laughs> That's so sick, actually. This is locked. Okay, so we've got these rune spots around. There we go. Oh, okay, so this is a little different. This is a little different. I can't even hit this one. So we need to blow this up. How do we get this? I wonder if I have to hit this one from above, maybe? It doesn't look like I'm getting through there at all. Alright. Let's open up the shortcut. And then we'll figure that out. We have holes in this thing anywhere? We can't get this through. It looks like maybe it could get raised or something. Huh. Like there would be one. There's two, but then that one's blocked. Oh, let's see what else there is. Maybe we'll figure that out. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm here to help, buddy. This dragon would be a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to free it. Nope. Finally. Well, yeah. I love that. Okay, so this is... Okay. These symbols represent the, the shrines that we're breaking. Now, how to get back here, I wonder. Oh, here we go. No? Oh, maybe. Yep. Oh, and that actually triggered the top one, too. Very cool. I didn't notice that one there before. The one we could grab. Fire never hurt anybody. Dragon's gonna be so stoked. Hear a bird. Father, look up there. Here, boy. Yes, sir. Tell me the tales. I really wish you would read these ones. Much like Othar of Vithlgard, <laughs> Regan has been conscripted as head sentry of Conan's guard. Though he may occasionally struggle against his binding, he takes great pride in his task. His thunderous breath, while extraordinarily dangerous, is merely his way of expressing pride. However, do not or do take caution during weekly maintenance of the dragon shrines. Regan will attempt to use his breath on you. It's not meant as an attack, it is merely his own cheeky way of passing the time. Make sure you vacate the area immediately because it will kill you. All rumors of Regan's presence attracts the Dark Elves of Alfheim is pure fiction. King Motsagnir will protect us all from the beasts as he has done time and time again. Yeah, I don't believe any of this. <laughs> well, we'll find out. <laughs> 